Rob from Higher Power H2O. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, I've been pretty busy. Uh, I'm going to open up a shop here in Arizona. I'm going to be purchasing a t chassis dyno. Uh, I'll be doing this testing on. I mean, that's not the main reason. The main reason is for the line of work I do. But, uh, anyways, this is a quick little video to Energy Supply 2008's video on the Beamer. Um, good video. Um, his numbers are right in the BMW case, but it's not right in the overall picture. Um, it's a little misleading, not intentional, I'm sure. Um, he's he's taken a systematic approach at BTU level or BTU and heating values and stuff, which I understand is great. But you got to look at an overall picture here. Um, first of all, H2 straight hydrogen. It's a totally different animal. Um, and in the real world, an engine specifically built for it, internal combustion engine, um, is about 25% more efficient. Um, it's thermo thermodynamically more efficient. You can do more with it. You'll be running higher compression ratios. You have to have a supercharger because of the hydrogen's a gaseous fuel, so it displaces a lot of the oxygen, so you have to force more incoming air or atmospheric air in. Um, you know, your H2, your storage is about 34 to 1, so you're not looking at the old 14.7 to 1. Um, there's a whole bunch of different factors you got to look at. Well, Beamer, um, I've seen one of the cars in LA, uh, they're pretty cool. But well, what they're doing is they're taking a gasoline engine and switching it to H2. Well, you can't take advantage of the fuel. Um, yeah, sure, it's cool, you know, it's clean, but it's highly inefficient. It's like running E85 in your. You know, Mitsubishi Galant, you're going to lose 30% uh, fuel efficiency because of the lower energy value. Now you take that same engine, bump the compression up, change the cam profile, ignition profile, you can almost reclaim all of it. Um, have the same mileage as what you started, more power, um, and the same mileage as the gasoline. But then you change the engine like that, you can't run your, your 87 octane. Same thing with the BMW. You can't have the best of both worlds. You got to do one or the other. Um, H2, <coughs> it's it's strange. It's got a, a research octane number RON of 130, which would allow you normally to run compression ratios approaching 20 to 1. You know, you're running 87 octane, or in Beamer's case, they're probably running the 91, so they have a Static compression ratio probably ten and a half to maybe even eleven and a half, a little over to one. Um, you'd need higher compression to run H2. Um, you know to uh, uh, to maximize H2s as a fuel. So that's where BMWs failed there. So that's really not a fair comparison as far as fuels. Um, you know you can go back to the E85, same thing. Uh, but the tricky part is, is the the actual real world number, the MON, um, motor octane number. Uh, guys who fly airplanes will know what this is. Uh, basically, it's at leaner levels how stable the fuel is is a resistance to not. Hydrogen isn't. Um, so hydrogen you need to keep it a at it near its stoich at a high load, you know, low RPM. Um, where gasoline, low RPM is generally low load, so you can run lean. And you'll look at these newer cars, you know, they can run as lean as, you know, 17, 18, 19 to 1, a lean bird during cruise, low load. Um, when you guys are looking at these numbers, I just encourage you to look at the whole picture. Um, you can't say, you know, this is or isn't if you can't get all, all the information in one in, in an overall picture. I understand where you're coming from. Now like my Suburban, when I was getting better mileage with it, which is now sold, um, the way that I got better mileage is with hydrogen you increase the octane of, a, of the original fuel. So with 87 octane, I had really no way to test it, but I could in advance my timing another 15 to 25 degrees at cruise. Um, so I was looking at a total timing of upwards of 55, 60 degrees. A throttle body 350 cannot handle that. 
Um, but with the hydrogen and the water vapor coming out of the cell, I was allowed to run in a lot of timing. A lot of timing is more torque. Um, you can lug the motor more, if you will. So it's not, I'm replacing anything, and that was not leaning out the Suburban, nothing of that nature. That was only messing with timing. And, you know, the kind of the status quo of this HHL stuff is you got to retard the timing. Well, if you want it to work, you can't. Um, you need to give it more time. Um, and I know it's been a long time since I've been here and kind of explained stuff, but um, it's just the way <laughs> you, you, you got to look. You got to look at an overall picture. Um, it's basically like I've said in previous videos. You got to make it act more like a diesel. Diesel have extremely high cylinder pressures. Um, that's what the HHO is allowing to happen with a combination of water vapor and, and the hydrogen. Um, this stuff needs to be done on a chassis dyno, I understand that. And uh, that's where I'm going from here. Well, when you're looking at these these numbers, you gotta, you gotta look at the whole picture. You can't just look at BTUs. You can't just look at, you know, a car normally takes this amount of gasoline, this amount of BTU to go this far. You can, to you, you can change that in the real world. You have to make specifically designed vehicles, and uh, you know. But with HHO, you can change the burn property of that engine with gasoline. Um, you know, I don't think we'll ever go straight to HHO. There's just it's just not even possible. But there's a balance there that that we can find, and that I will find, and I will be able to put. You know. With you know, specialized test equipment and stuff where you guys can see it real time. Um, but it's there. Uh, it's not all this crap that most people are spouting. It's not replacing anything. Um, it's just allowing to extract more energy out of a lot of wasted fuel. That being said, I'll try and keep up on the videos. Uh, I'm setting up everything again. And I'm kind of running with HHO and diesel. With a very new injection method that nobody's running um, we'll save that for another video Good luck.